What's up guys, it's Adrian Jr. here with Sin City Outdoors. And um, we're finally getting out rabbit hunting. My dad and I were finally getting out rabbit hunting. It's been actually quite a while, a little bit too long it feels like. But um, we've been seeing you guys' messages. A lot of you guys have been wanting a rabbit hunting video or some sort of a hunting video. But the way my channel works is I kind of roll with the seasons, you know, what's good. As of right now, a majority of hunting is not good right now. You know, coyotes, all that stuff, it's, it's really hot. And I always have good luck with rabbits though this time of year. So today we're gonna be using my Gamo air rifle. It's a 177 caliber. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to sight it in really quick. We always make sure that you know, especially with my air rifles that they're sighted on, they always get thrown off pretty easily. And um it's quite windy today actually. It's around the 10, maybe pushing 15 at times, miles per hour in the winds, and you know, there's a rabbit right there actually. There he is. Wow, he's right there. I think they're out here, huh? <laughs> we'll be back for him after we sight in. Yep. So that rabbit, it's pretty cool because we just saw him on the road. We're going to go ahead and sight in really quick. We're not sighted in yet. After that, I'm probably going to come back after that guy. He still hasn't left. And who knows, he might still be there. But it should be a good day. Um, we've hunted kind of the general area, not this exact spot before. But we just know that there's rabbits around here. So hopefully we'll get it done. Okay, so this looks like a good spot to sight in really quick. Um, I want to remind you guys really quick that I do have a video on, you know, my shooting techniques with my air rifles and how I sight them in and stuff. Link will be up on one of these sides. I always forget. But also, I'll remind you guys at the end of the video because a lot of you guys want to finish it out, you know, watch the whole hunting video. I'll remind you guys at the end. But as far as this right now, we're about to sight in. So every time we go out, we make sure our guns are on. This is our air rifle. And we're sighting it in again, so it got knocked off a little bit. We're gonna move it left. Just move it three clicks. We're gonna move it three clicks, and we're out here just shooting a bottle, making sure we're on. I would go left three more clicks. Five yards, that looks pretty good. You got it. Just zeroed it in, we're all good now. I'm comfortable to to go and try to get a couple rabbits with it. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and look around for some spots, try to get into some rabbits. Probably gonna go back after that one we saw on the road too. He never left, so he might still be there. All right, let's go get some. So a really quick note uh, before we get in really into the hunting and stuff. Um, I wanna remind you guys why, you know, I'm, I kill these or harvest them or however you guys may call it. Um, these, these things are pests and I wanna remind you guys that. The state actually encourages you to get out and help manage them a little bit and stuff. Um, there's always a ton of them, and I don't just kill for fun. That's one main thing. I follow the laws strictly also. I follow them as hardcore as I can, and I don't just kill these things for fun. We either eat them or donate them, or there's a, a whole list of things we can do with these guys. And um, They're unprotected species, like I was saying. No season, nothing. And we're doing it all legal. I just want to remind you guys that. And if you guys don't agree with this for any reason or whatever, just go ahead and click out. Don't be spreading all the hate and stuff. But other than that, we're going to get into the hunting. So if you guys don't like it, go ahead and click out now. It's your little fair warning. So we zeroed in and we came back where we saw a rabbit earlier. He was still on the same bush. I don't know if I got it high enough to get on film. Hit him on the run. Yep. Smack him. First rabbit of the year for me. This guy. First rabbit of the year. Look at all those ticks on him. It's crazy. Right there, straight ahead. Why didn't you shoot? You couldn't get on. Couldn't get him in your sight picture. Or what? No, I could. He was I too know. far. Oh no! Look at there's another one down there. How far? He's far. Oh, dang! The, there's two of them. Longest bow gun shot ever. Nope. 
You ain't that good yet. Yep. <laughs> that was what? Like a hundred. You say a hundred? Yeah, that was probably a hundred yards. <laughs> That'd have been amazing. Hundred yard shot. It ain't gonna happen with wind and a pellet. Yeah. It's pretty windy right now, so. That'd have been cool though, you gotta admit, that would have been really cool. Let's get to the top of this and then we'll go somewhere else. Yeah. It's too steep. I see rabbits everywhere, but they're all 100, 150 yards out. We should bring our 22 back one of these days. With the 22, we can snipe one 100 yards easy. Oh, we can't get through there, huh? No. Oh, wait, what if we make that right? Oh, yeah. Go up that hill. Mm -hmm. Perfect for coyotes. Nighttime or something. Once it hits about August, might be doing a little bit more coyote hunting. Comment down below if you'd like to see that. Nighttime, daytime, all of it. We're gonna try to get it in. They're not biodegradable. I mean, there's animals living out here and all sorts of stuff. That this is why public lands get closed down sometimes. It's 105 degrees out right here. Right now. Oh shoot! What the heck? Go ahead. Yeah, let me load up. It's 105 degrees out here right now, and the rabbits probably don't want to run. So I just shot this rabbit. I wanted to give you guys a really quick tip on you know the kind of stuff we're hunting and what we're looking for. So as you guys can see in this area, there's green plants kind of everywhere. We're, we're far out of city limits. That's one your main thing. As you guys can see all this green stuff, there's green, big green bushes and also it's kind of like a valley. I mean rocky terrain, all this stuff. These valleys with big green bushes and stuff like that always seem to hold rabbits for us. And I mean we just got one so. You guys can find that kind of stuff i can almost guarantee if you walk down those valleys or even on top of the hill sometimes you're gonna see rabbits you really didn't see them what did i walk past them oh what the <laughs> <laughs> you walk right by him I walked right by him he's camouflaged nice one this is a nice one nice size Second one today. So we just got this guy about like 30 yards. Um, double lung shot. Nice humane shot. I'm using little hollow point bullets for my, or pellets for my air rifle here. But this is a nice healthy one. This is actually pretty big for this area, I'd say. So this one, it's a really nice sized one. And he's a nice clean one also. So we're gonna go ahead and donate him to one of our friends we know. He does taxidermy and kind of teaches classes and stuff. So he loves, when we bring him these, he's always taking them in just to kind of practice and better his skills with. So we're going to go ahead and bring this guy with us. All right, that's two. I'll probably only get one more and we'll call it a day. Don't want to get too many. So we're in a spot right now that we actually call on coyotes. And we've called in ringtails. And we've seen bobcats in the area. So we come out here scout while we're hunting for rabbits it's a good opportunity to scout see if we see any new cats in the area it's hard to tell that sound yeah. is too soft but i know this place is loaded with ringtails yep ringtail cats seen those too. Yeah. if you guys haven't seen one i'll put a little picture right there so you can see what a ringtail cat looks like they're pretty neat little creatures they're also unprotected it's so hot out here already. Two cameras overheated. We're on camera number three. GoPro's overheating. The new GoPro 6 overheats if you fart on it. 
I mean, that thing. A GoPro 6, just. You gotta get the updates. 30 degrees outside and it still overheats. You gotta get the updates. We updated it. Hopefully, it starts working better. I'm taking it back. Oh, that's pretty cool. We found these kind of rocks. This one has a couple on it. So if this is more of an area right here where we might set traps if we find like cat sign and stuff. But night hunting's never not an option. So we need to set a goal. How many predators do we want this year? 30. Yeah, I think 30 is realistic. I say at least three cats. You think that's accomplishable? That's yeah. kind of low for a lot of people, but we're kind of still fairly new to the game. So three cats, and I say, um, yeah, probably like 20 coyotes. I yeah. think that's accomplishable. 20, 20 to 30 coyotes 20 and a few cats. So we'll be happy. I got a thorn in my arm right now. Oh man, rabbit jumped out. He got poked by a thorn. Yeah, that's good. Right when he jumped out, I ran into thorns. We're gonna go ahead and pretty much call it a day. I'll close out in the car because the wind just picked up like crazy, but it's clear, it's on safe. Put it back in its container. All right, guys, we're calling it a day. Um, I, I, like I said, I'm gonna remind you guys, links right here if you guys want to see one of these sides. I always forget, like I said earlier, also, but one of these sides if you want to see my, you know, my whole video about my air rifle and stuff. And links are down below to see everything we used today. And I want to give you guys, you know, some advice and stuff. We saw probably about 20 rabbits today. But, you know, a lot of you guys have been wanting to see me with my air rifle and stuff come out here and try to get some. So I did that. Ended up getting two. And uh, honestly, guys, it's super hard to use an air rifle out here. Because, you know, it's wide open terrain and stuff. And um, they're just dipping and diving. They see you from far. And it's so hard to get them. But um if you guys are out here you know i recommend if you're out here trying to actually get them for dinner and stuff mm. just bring a shotgun out get some because if i had a shotgun i probably would have killed 15 if i wanted to but if you guys actually do get one of those pellet guns from the links below uh, i recommend you guys go in like somewhere where you know you can sit and just wait for them or if you guys even like this just hike but we hiked miles today and just we're scaring them a majority of the time because they don't stop to the those of you guys who watch it to the end i really do appreciate it i mean i got some fans out there that watch it to the end and i know who you guys are there's a lot of familiar faces in the comments and all sorts of stuff you guys know all the details and um i also encourage you guys you know when i'm walking around places you know a lot of people see me in the vegas area don't be afraid to say hi a lot of people you know they comment after i saw you and stuff and you didn't say hi but my dad and i we, we usually like talking to fans and stuff but other than that, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors.